All right, let's see if this works. To be honest with you, it's not, um, well, it is about the combat, obviously, but it's not, uh, not so much, I think, about, um, um, like, the actual die rolling and whatnot. I know that um, a lot of you guys like that stuff, so it's going to happen. But I'll trust, trust me, if you really are into that type of stuff, yeah, it's the shadows. Uh, you can see it's that type of uh, the day here. But... Um, uh, trust me, that's going to happen. I, maybe not this turn, but certainly next turn with the Germans, uh, because they're just amassing. It's just an insane amount of supply points and um, strength points. It's going to be uh, not very nice. What I am uh, doing, really happy about this, doing this video, is after taking a look at the retreat rules, um, yeah, these guys will be able to retreat to here. It's their last possible option. And I'll, I'll grab the rules again. So, uh, yeah, so that's the 4th Infantry, uh, the Russian 4th Infantry Brigade here. They've got two strength points. I should have put a little two up on there. Um, well, hold on. I'll do that right now. Just to keep it, to keep it good. Um, yeah, and I'll run over quickly who the other guys are. I was thinking, you know, you know someday whenever I, I get fancy, I'm, I know I have done the split screen stuff and whatnot. And eventually that'll happen with some other stuff. I mean, I'm just doing what I'm doing here. Um... Here, we'll pop the two on. So that's the 4th Infantry Brigade. Or, no, sorry, the 4th Rifles Brigade. The Russian 4th Rifles Brigade, who originally used to be part of the 8th Army uh, under Brusilov. Took forever until they finally got to this point where they got the information saying, by the way, you're no longer part of the 8th Army. Uh, Brusilov's been um, demoted massively. You now report to Ruski, I do believe, is the 3rd Army. Uh, commander, or I always keep getting them mixed up with um, um, the fourth army commander. Uh, darn it. Anyways, let's get back to this bit. Um, so, as far as he's right now not surrounded, he does have a line of a line of communication through here. Now. This the I'll read out the not all the retreat rules, just the last possible one. And here's the weird technicality. It says, okay, well I'll read it out, and then we'll go from there. Um, it's not a long one, but uh, get it, get it done. Uh, all right, retreat, retreat. A hex that is enemy controlled, which that one is, and is not occupied by friendly ground combat units, and is as close as possible in terms of movement points from the hex to the supplying headquarters by a valid supply route, see supply rules, to the supplying headquarters. And here's the, you know, techni technically wrinkly thing, but it's like as if. So anyways, you can see that's because that's in an enemy zone of control and still will be in an enemy zone of control when they, if, if, they were forced to retreat because they do have two strength points and there's less than a 50% chance after these 10 strength points. I did have 12, but I went and moved, uh, I, I screwed up. And like I said, I'm turning that into the narrative saying, well, the newly reconstituted second army are having, uh, you know, some command, uh, command and control issues or whatever. And um, one of the divisions went over there and shouldn't have. That's the way I'm going to, that's the way I'm playing it out. Anyways, the, when they get, so it's going to be unsupplied. They'll go from uh, 10 to 5, and that brings me down to a less than a 50% chance. I'll, I'll, re I'll read it out. It's because of that uh, minus 2 to the, um, uh, the attacker die roll, and they're going to get plus 1 to their um, counterattack. They'll also be unsupplied, but one thing at a time here. we got to see if, they can be, if they're going to be forced to retreat. So that, yeah, so that's that. Um, anyways... Here's the weird technicality. They're no longer under the 8th Army control. So their 8th Army is not, no longer there technically supplying headquarters. But let's be realistic. They've been re these guys have been retreating for the past, what, nearly two weeks this way. They just really, just realize, where else would they be going? They're, they can't go across the major river. So obviously they're still going to continue going the same way. It just, I mean, let's, you know, common sense for Christ's sakes. I, and yet again, it could be... It is common sense, and I'm not, not seeing the common sense, as in it's... Uh, you, you get the idea. Anyways, let me grab my little book, and I'll go through the quickie bits here. So, uh, these guys here are the um, Austro-Hungarian 20th Infantry Division, two strength points. Uh, 39th Infantry Division, two strength points. 
The 34th, uh, sorry, the 35th Infantry Division here, as BG-34 though, with three strength points. And these guys are the 33rd Infantry Division with three strength uh, points, total of 10, chopped in half because it's unsupplied, down to five, and they're gonna get a minus two to their die roll, so away we go. And I think, well, just think high if you're into uh, wanting to see a hit. I think they can only do one hit. Yeah, it's only one hit. But they only need one hit to force a, uh, force a retreat, because they only have two. Even if it was Germans, it would still be that way. So we'll see what goes on. Oh, it looks like they're going to be doing it. Mmm, shush, shush. So that's a five down to a three on five. Okay. So that's a five down to a three. So that's one hit. The uh, Russian fourth... Uh, uh, Fourth Rifles Brigade will be forced to retreat. They will suffer one hit, uh, one strength point uh, of damage at the end, and they're the last to take the hits. So they'll still be able to counterattack right now the way they are. Uh, then, then they'll have to move back now because they're forced to retreat. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, they're um, they're. Uh, Counterattack is only doubled instead of tripled, but they're unsupplied, so their their strength points are going to be chopped in half first. That's down to one, but then doubled, it's up to two. So here we go. So it's going to be two strength points uh, with plus one to their die roll. Remember that for the woods. So away we go. And it's a five. So a five and a two. I think if they could do it. Oh my gosh, they were so flipping close, man. Okay, so no uh, no hits to the Austro-Hungarians. They're happier in hell. Uh, and the Russians will have to move back. So no hits. Okay. So the Russians are forced to move back, which they do. I'll put that down to a one just for now, so we'll see it. And then I can move in, which is exactly what I'm going to do, obviously. So, there they go. And, okay, sticky, it's the, um, what do you call it? The glue stick and, and the grooves. Ah, my God! Ah, ah. Let's just use fingers, Chris, or the other, uh, whatever. So let's try that. There we go. It's turning into the OCD land, right? what's happening and I just said the freaking word I can't stand okay there we go and now I'm gonna move um, I'm gonna move uh, these guys into here I just uh, makes sense to me so that's number nine so number nine will be the 39th infantry division so they move into here maybe I should have done um, this one but I'm, I'm I'm just going the way I see things, and maybe it's not the way to see things. All right, so that's it. I'm going to leave it at that. And away we go. The second army are finished, and now I get to move on to the third army. These guys. And um, things are looking good for the Austro-Hungarians. I, I can't see them not being able to take... Right, you can see it. I, I can't see them not being able to take Stanislav. It's weird. He's got it written uh, as a U at the end. So I've been saying Stanislav for ages and ages and ages throughout the game. But then when I go onto Google and all that stuff, they keep saying, no, it's uh, it's a V or a zillion other things. But I've, they never pop it in as a U. So I'm like, okay, I'm just going to call Stanislav, I guess. Um, and away we go. So that's that. Okay, see you later.